This is a terrible beard. There are big bald patches over here. Uh, you get close up, it's very scraggly. It is, it is disgusting in texture. Uh, there, there are weird outlying dark wiry hairs that if I don't take care of them, they just stick straight out this way. Uh, many people have asked me, why did you grow that beard? Most of those people are my wife. <laughs> and the, the, the answer is not obvious. I had a mustache for a while. That was obvious. I grew... Well, you had a variety of mustaches. Yeah, well, that, but, you know, the, the, a mustache is emotionally transparent. I grew my mustache for the same reason all weird dads grow their mustaches when they hit their 40s. It's an uh, evolutionary signal to say, uh, no, thank you, I'm done. I've, I no longer serve any evolutionary purpose. I have children. They're out there in the world. I don't deserve physical intimacy anymore. So <laughs> time for me to focus on my weird dad hobbies like puns and uh, researching world wars and bridges and stuff. <laughs> but the beard was more of a mysterious, a, a, a mysterious compulsion. Uh, I just wanted to see what would come out of my face when I stopped taking care of myself. <laughs> And I think, I think all, all, all people who can grow beards want to because they want to see what secret bearded man lives right. inside of them. What would it them. look like, right? Yeah. yeah. Who's that guy with a beard who's right. inside me? And maybe that guy's smarter than I am. As I'm getting older, maybe that elder sage or, or woodsy mountain man can guide me through this wilderness that terrifies <laughs> me. I did not know that the secret man living inside of me apparently is uh, uh, the, I, I, I consider him to be the part-time bookkeeper for the Church of Satan. Uh, <laughs> But when it really grows out and gets bushy, I realize even that's a lie. The, the fact is I'm more like the, I, the, the hated liberal cousin who does IT for the Duck Dynasty. <laughs> okay.